Oh, I'm so glad this is over for her. I am so glad this is over for her that she don't have to go through this no more. Um, and because this was a horrible, horrible situation. And that is uh, Vanessa Kobe uh, Widow. She won her lawsuit against um, L.A. County for its emergency and its emergency uh, responders after they shared the photos of her late husband and daughter. Um, Lord have mercy. One of those guys testified on the stand and he said that, you know, he saw an arm and the reason why they identified it as Kobe because he was the only black man on the plane. Oh, Lord have mercy. Anyway, uh, that there's just uh, for her to have to sit through that, that's worth 16 million alone. Anyways, it says that Vanessa Bryant sobs openly in court as jury announces that she won 16 million from LA County after its emergency responders shared photos of late husband Kobe and daughter Gianna's bodies while, um, in the wake of a grizzly helicopter crash. Mm -mm -mm. Vanessa Bryant has been awarded $16 million. They said there was a super invasion of her privacy after the photos of her dead husband and daughter's bodies were taken. The jury in Los Angeles deliberation uh, in the multi-million dollar uh, trial started on Wednesday morning and returned a verdict in less than a day. Bryant sobbed as the decision was announced at the end of a two-week trial in which the court heard harrowing testimony about the graphic pictures. Sheriff's deputies and firefighters who rushed to the scene of the January 2020 smash took pictures of the carnage and the victims. Some of these first responders showed the photographs to members of the public while one deputy texts them to a friend as the pair play video games. In its defense, Los Angeles County says the pictures have never become public and officials have been diligent in efforts to scrub them from devices. But Vanessa Bryan and Chris Chester, whose wife and daughter also perished in a crash, live in fear that these photographs surfacing on the internet one day. The pair sued for emotional damages over the photos and suits that have been combined. Chester was awarded $15 million. Chester's lawyer on Tuesday said the jury sh uh, should award each of them a million dollars for every year of their remaining expectant life. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, God. You know, Vanessa has changed so much, in my opinion, since uh, in the last two years. Uh, court reporter for the website Law and Crime said that Brian turned to her in her seat, looked at the jury, mouthing the words, thank you. And then she hugged her lead lawyer, Louis Lee. The jury found that the sheriff's department and firefighters who rushed to the scene of the January 2020 smash were just uh, unethical. You know, in a minor victory for the firefighters, the jury found that they do not have a custom or a practice of sharing photos of deceased people, only that the fire department lacks sufficient training and policies. They did conclude, however, that the sheriff's department has a practice of sharing pictures from accidents as well as insufficient training. Natalia and um, her mom
really, like I said, went through a lot to even watch this. It is horrifying. The sum is less than the $40 million which lawyers said Brian was entitled to, but more than that received by relatives of other victims who were last year granted $2.5 million in a compensation over the, 40, over the photo taking. Brian and Chester refused to join their case and launched their own. The civil trial in Los Angeles has heard how some of these first responders showed the photographs to members of the public, including a bartender, um, while one deputy texted them to a friend. They also talked about um, how the wife and of one of the persons, Chris Chester, they can't already can't sleep because of what happened, and they just live in fear now that these pictures will surface, because that's usually what happens. People give stuff a chance to die down, then it comes back out, and their families will be just devastated, just devastated should it come out. <clears throat> Attorney Jerry Jackson called the figure a fair, a reasonable compensation. You can't award too much money for what they went through. Brian's lawyer, uh, Craig Lavery, was, said he was asking for justice and accountability for the basketball great, a hero to the city of Los Angeles and his widow. We're here because of the intentional conduct the county violated Mrs. Bryant and Mr. Chester's, Chester's constitutional right. Asking a jury to hold a county liable for the constitutional violations of its employees. An investigation into the crash found the pilot had probably become disorientated after flying the Sikorsky S-76 in the fall. Bryant was widely known and recognized as one of the greatest basketball players ever, a figure who became the face of his sport during two glittering decades with the Los Angeles Lakers. He, has, he was a five-time NBA champion in a career that began in 1996, straight out of high school. Kobe Bean. Hmm. You know, <clears throat> this, is, um, this is really a sad story. But her daughter um, is extremely tall and she looks a lot like Kobe. And um, maybe one day they'll find the ability to have some kind of peace. Because that was such a tragedy. Anyway. Tell me what you think. You think that she should have um, been awarded the money? Um, or do you think that's just part of the territory that goes along when you have a famous husband? <clears throat> and um, for people who have been desensitized, who cares, right? That's what a lot of people think. And that's, that was pretty much that. Um, behavior and mindset of the uh, responders. So, let me know what you think. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share the video. And I'll see you in the next one.